I guess let's keep going. I mean, so far we seem to be doing a bang-up job. Kind of cutting our way through here. Destroying everything and gathering a sizable amount of loot. This place looks interesting. Oh, right. I can totally just spin in. So there's a guy here somewhere. Okay, I've wandered right into the wolf's den, eh? I don't know. Doesn't quite strike strike me as that. Okay. A lot of loot. See, this is what I was hoping for the, the last time we played uh, with Gull and Sleep Cycles, where we were able to... Um, where we got into the, the weird flesh world. Like, that actually end up, ended up being a complete disaster and kind of disappointment because nothing happened. There wasn't anything cool there. It was just, like, constant nothing. And it was sad. We have a merchant all the way down here. Well, you could not come at a better time. So she doesn't... Oh, she's got a chili. Uh, spoils in three hours. I think I'm safe. Uh, let's see. Anyway, so we want to sell stuff to her. Mainly this, 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 this. Pretty much all of this stuff. Diamond pickaxe. Oh, the oh, there's a difference. Okay. Uh, let's see. Is this filling up? Nope. Okay. Well, there's a free 5,000 pixels, and my inventory is much clearer. Yeah, so there's some kind of, like, steampunk bandit situation going on around here. <sighs> Might want to invest in, like, rocket jump. Alternatively, I can just come around this way. There we go. I want to see if there's anything else cool around here. So you never know. Uh, let's see. What the hell is this? Coral Bockle. A little person to keep your head warm. That's really bizarre. That is really bizarre. Okay. Grab this. What you got? You got a shield. Uh, anything else? The answer is no. Okay. Well, let's keep exploring it, and so far this is this is working out way better than I thought it was going to. Bandit land is pretty effective. Oh yeah, let's go to the manipulator module. Let's get uh, the next r size upgrade. That's going to be 48. Yeah, the reason why I wanted this one is because now all I have to do is just point my, my matter manipulator in the direction I want to go, and I can just mine straight sideways. I don't have to go up or down or any of that kind of... Annoying jazz nonsense. Let's see. Oh, looks like we got another uh, challenge room over here, too. Good stuff. I feel like I'm going through this place wrong, but I could be wrong. Who knows? There might not actually be, like, a directed path through this, and it's just, like, slap down a bunch of rooms and call that good enough. Okay, so we've got a treasure chest directly above. I don't know if there's supposed to be anything special about that, but whatever. Okay. Well, if there was, I don't know what it was, and that's okay. So we've got more of those boxes. Well, we've still got a challenge portal, and I've still got a ton of, um... I've still got a ton of med kit, so... Oh, it's this, this one again? I feel like I'm doing this wrong. In fact, I know I am. But that's okay. I really feel like there's supposed to be a, a reward thing around here. Like, it looks like you can go outside. Maybe you can. Let's try that this time. 
Like, can I just scoot past this? No. It's like, it feels like you're supposed to get outside this facility-y thing. And then something. Maybe I stand here? Nope. Because usually there was, at least in the past, there's been like a, a secret chest. But not here. Which is confusing me a little bit. But I guess I'm not terribly offended. Ooh, did we just get another dagger? We just got another dagger! It's the, uh, Keelai Star Troubler. And... I think it's perfect. Okay, what else do we have? Let's have a wand. Let's try wand dagger. Oh, I see. Wand does exactly what you'd think it would do. I could also try a double dagger, but I don't know if that's a wise decision. It's probably better that I, I stick to swords and daggers. Well, one way or another. Yeah, those are just those are just the controls. I don't see anything special about this, so let's let's just call this good enough. I don't know. Okay. And honestly, this this is time consuming. This is also time consuming. I need the increased matter manipulator uh power. Pretty badly. I think it's not super crucial. But it'll save me a lot of time. Or currently I can just use my giant robot suit to do the entire thing. I actually really wish these places came pre-lit to some degree. Like, it's kind of a shame that they're not. Okay, we should probably bring this sucker back. There we go. Just because we found another challenge room. Uh, alright, I'm taking bets. Who thinks it's going to be the exact same as the, the past two or three that we've been doing? Because it really does feel like, uh, for some reason we're on this, like, strange homogenous loop. Dunno. Well, one way or another, uh, let's find out for ourselves. Something new, something new, something new, something new, something new, something new, yes! Okay. So we've got this whole lava field thing on the the right side. That's a concern. What if we just go straight up and around? You know, y'all, you, you get the spike ball and you're like, what, what can I do to cheese this? What will make this easier for me? And the answer is this. <laughs> Very much so. I just want to see if there's anything on the far side. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Well, I guess I can keep going around. There's no reason why not to. I'm just trying to see if there's an extra special treasure chest hiding somewhere around here. You never know. And the answer is no extra special treasure chest. Because, yeah, I've found at least one bonus treasure chest in this game before. Uh, in a challenge level. And I was like, okay. At this point, now we should look for all of them. And the answer is... me. Haven't found any yet, but I'm also not feeling particularly... ...impeded by this. Or disappointed, I guess. One way or another, what did we get? We got a damage upgrade, another machine pistol, and some kunai. Not a big fan of kunai, admittedly, but that's okay. They're probably good, I just... I don't use them. Okay, so I don't see anything else useful around here. Um, oh, I'm hungry. Let's see, this stuff is definitely hard to dig through. Not terrible, but it's definitely more in the time-consuming uh, state. I wonder if planets get definitively harder as you go along to, like, dig. Probably. Oh. Ooh, it's a fire dagger this time around. I wasn't paying full attention. I just knew it was a thing. Okay. 
I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't paying attention to the status effect attached or anything like that. I was just like, this dagger does more damage than my previous dagger, therefore it is worth it. And this is totally true. My inventory full? My inventory can't be full. Could always get rid of the kunai or whatever. I think I'm going to be able to uh, get every movement upgrade here. If I feel like it. Which I probably do. Don't know. Okay, we've got a random floor in here. Who's being attacked by a robot? My assumption is random Florin is merchant. Random Florin is in fact merchant. We just have to wait for random Florin to stop moving. Okay, so combat medic headgear. I don't think that actually does much. However, the hunter's skirt I think is definitively better than my, my current pants. So I'll go with that. And let's see. Yeah, it's not great. I already have that. Just chest guard ain't great. Okay, so here's what we want to do. We want to sell everything. See, I'm not a big fan of machine pistols. Oh, those are bandages. Oh, sniper rifle. Might be better than the one I've got. Uh, damage per shot. Rate of fire 1.4. This is half. So this one is an okay DPS. They have about the same DPS. I think I'll just stick with what I got. Don't care about Pixel Hero. Want that. Where's my previous dagger? There it is. See, I'm trying to get rid of everything that we don't really need. I'll get rid of the shotgun. We're not going to be using it. I think I'll hold on to the Koro Bakal just because it's funny. It's got to be a reference to something. Okay. There's another 4,000 pistols. I've got three upgrade things. We're actually making some pretty good, uh... Pretty good time here. I was expecting... And I was ex expecting I'd just be, like, milling about the planet for, like, a while. Kind of wildly disappointed about everything. Now this, uh... This foray has actually earned me a fair amount of do dosh. Uh, admittedly, dosh isn't really what I'm looking for, but still. Oops. Let's see. A lot of Dura Steel, which isn't super useful. We got another one of those. We got another one of those chambers over there. Watch this be a deadly fall. Deadly-ish. That would have hurt. I would have hurt a fair amount if I if I gotten hit by it. I was kind of hoping for a little bit of variety here. We, I, I guess the uh, Steam environment commonly has this kind of environment. I'm really curious if, if my companion will die. He hasn't died yet. I'll give him that. And it's a bit in... I don't know. I was going to say interesting, confusing. Kunai, 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 durasteel. Yeah. Okay, so we've got a, some more boxes up and over there, but I know we have a treasure chest down on the left. So we'll head down that direction. Oh, it's one of these where you gotta kind of dig through the roof or whatever. Okay. Might be actually true of that other set, too. Well, we're gonna have every matter manipulator module we can possibly hope for after this. Ooh. Healing color, too. Okay. So we need those core fragments. Actually. So it's probably a good idea to go for that. We've also got another challenge door. Okay. Looks like we're gonna go up and around and stuff. I'll hit the challenge door first, just because. We should probably heal. I'll hit the challenge door first, then we'll go down for the treasure stuff, and then I'll get the core fragments. Because I needed, uh, I need core fragments to get my hands on... I need core fragments to get my hands on Volatile Powder. Didn't realize I needed more of it. Um, but we need it for upgrades of some sort. Okay. Not so bad. Ow! Didn't realize that was a drop-down section. 
Okay. I'm curious what that indigo liquid is. My assumption is, oh, it's like a slowing ooze type stuff. Okay, gotcha. What's up with this one? Nothing? Nothing. Okay. My poor companion. Burning in the lava. All sorts of problems. Oh, I see. I hit this to turn off the fire. Gotcha. Ow! Saw blades are not not nice. This is uh this is cool. Yeah, see the uh you know that secret secret chest I was talking about? Here it is. Or secret ish. Admittedly this one's way easier to get your hands on than others. Okay, before we go any further. We need to put this back on. And the other thing is I want to check. Well, that's one way to solve the problem. Turns out you can, in fact, bring your mechs in here. That's dumb. But at the same time, why not? I wonder what marked shot specifically does. Does it give me a damage boost? Does it... I don't know. I don't really know. I don't really care either. It also doesn't really matter. Okay, so do we got we got another wand. Okay, so I might be able to double wand it here. That's cool. Well anyway, let's do let's do exit portal. Keep going. It's gonna be a two part episode, but that's fine. Uh let me think. So I guess really we wanna go back down here. Down down this hole. We've got Kind of a treasure roomy area, and then I'm just gonna go get a bunch of core fragments, and then I think we'll blast our way to blast our way to the surface. It's been cool being here, but at the same time, it'd be cool to move on. What is this? A chef jacket? Funny. Uh, Graxis, Terra, ha Terra Hellbird. Interesting. I wouldn't mind actually getting a better spear at some point, but I'm kind of stuck with the flamethrower one for the time being. He is dumb. Okay. So we got core fragments of plenty over here. Hopefully I have room for them. Okay, good. We also got lava. You know, I'd actually I was actually kinda hoping there'd be like more treasury stuff down here. Like you get you get to the core of the world and that's where the real stuff is. Not really so... so much. Okay, question. No. Of course not. Let's see. I'm trying to decide exactly how I want to go about going around here. I guess, you know, I will, I will take it back. That is a nice treasure chest. Let's see. So we've, we don't have anything major here. I don't know how much we have to worry about lava. But I figured I'd worry to some degree. Oops. Okay, you know what? Let's do it this way. Uh, I've still got a bunch of those water blocks. Oh yeah, I do. I'll throw them down instead of the rope. There we go. That'll make this a bit easier. I just want to see if there's more, um... I want to see if there's more... Is there like an upgraded version of the core fragment over here? For starters. And more treasure chests. Like that, that big treasure chest we just found was uh, pretty chock full of goodies. Which I, I'm down, definitely down for. Assuming we can get more of those. Yeah, it doesn't look like these are any more or less special than otherwise. That's okay. missing the bottom here. It's hard positioning the uh, the four. It'd be kind of nice if there was a uh, a way that you could actually like straight up outline the blocks. That'd be nice. I think I'd, I think I'd actually really like to have that kind of feature. 
Because I know you can do that in Terraria, and it makes all the world of difference. Uh, so you don't end up accidentally mining into, you know, your stuff. <laughs> I've done that before. It's like, just like, oh, where am I hitting? You know, I'm trying to, like, pick up something, and then suddenly just, oh. Well, there that goes. And, like, honestly, it's a pretty quick fix, but still. Okay, let's dump some water down here. Let's see, do we... Oh, we got another treasure chest over here. I, I have to say, I'm so glad that matter manipulators can pick up water. It's definitely making my life easier. Let's see. Okay, we do have a block there. Not seeing much else apart from this treasure chest. That's okay. I guess the other thing I could do is just whip out the mech and just start flying around. But, I guess I'd be pretty liable to lava myself with that. That would probably not be so fun. Okay. I'm not seeing too much else here. Okay, how many core fragments did I just pick up? Cause... 50. Can't imagine I, I need any more than that. I guess I'll dig through and get a couple more. Not really any reason not to. Mostly just gotta make sure I don't drop lava on this thing. Or if I do, I only drop a little bit. I actually don't know how destructive lava is to, to mechs. Oh, interesting. My, um... My companion disappears when I'm... on the mech. Guess it makes sense. Okay, well, let's get out of here. This is probably gonna take a while. I'm a little bit worried about my mech taking damage, but then again, this thing is kind of incredibly destructive. I mean, I did pay 30,000 pixels for it, so I can't imagine that it's, um... That garbagey. Do wish I could upgrade them though, in the same way as like the matter manipulator. Oh, I see. He just kind of disappears there while I'm, um, while I'm flying because he can't, he can't figure out how to get to me. That makes sense. Look at how you can see my character naked for the couple of seconds while the cockpit slowly closes. Yeah, so if we're lucky, if we're lucky, we'll be able to just dig right out of here. Not a whole lot of impediments. Not seeing too many so far. Oh, we've already been here. Oh, what are these things? Static cells. So that's an alternative, if I always want to get more. Well, that's appreciated. Okay. I don't think we need much for titanium anymore. I, you know what? No, I probably do need titanium for at least a couple of upgrades along the way here. What is that? Oh, I see. For a second, I thought there was like a robot boat going around, and I was very confused. Wouldn't really put it past this game to have like a bizarre robot boat, but still. Let's see. I don't know if she gets pissed if you destroy her shop. Interesting question. Okay. It's a tough-ass planet. Should probably hit Q just to see if there's anything cool that I can run across in here. But I'm feeling that's kind of unlikely. Okay. Might as well grab the Durasteel as it drops down. This is cheap as hell, and I regret Nothing. The only, My only regret with this thing is not buying it earlier. I think this was like the last mech I actually bought. Uh, purely because I didn't know which one was the, uh, the cool digging machine. And now I do. And now I feel dumb. Because this is saving me a lot of time and energy. Because yeah, I could make an entire adventure out of like digging my way out of this planet. I could. I do wish it would uh, shoot directly upwards. I understand why it doesn't. Just because it's kind of hard to program. Also makes the game lag surprisingly hard. That's okay. I think I'll also zoom back in for the next episode or every episode after this one. The only reason why I zoomed out is so we could find all those treasure chests, which we did in spades, and I really don't have a whole lot of regrets on that. Uh, as far as that goes. 
getting little um, notifications every once in a while from uh, No Man's Sky about like support updates and whatever. Oh, these these guns can fire at the same time. Useful. Probably not going to actually do that very often, but still. I, I was super stoked to pick up the PC version of No Man's Sky figuring. Yeah, you know, look really nice and whatever. Turn around, you dumbass. Okay, there we go. Be pretty bad if I lost my mech to bats. Uh, but yeah, I was, I was super stoked for the PC version to come out. And honestly, like, I love No Man's Sky. It's actually it's still probably one of my favorite games this year. Uh, just in terms of, like, raw beauty and kind of interesting things to run into. But at the same time, uh, that PC port leaves a lot to be desired. It's kind of, kind of sad, really. Because I had a lot of, I had a lot of hope for No Man's Sky, and it's not like it's, like, truly broken all of my dreams. It's just one of those where it's like, I was, I was stoked to be, um, uh, actually I was stoked to restart my No Man's Sky run and just say, you know, hey, let's, uh, let's start over, let's, let's, you know, do this right the first time around. Let's see everything in, you know, 1080p, 60fps, so on and so forth. And then I couldn't even record it. And it's like, well, this is meaningless. Looked like I was actually, like, if I just wanted to play the game normally, I'd be fine. But if you can't record it, you might as well just switch back over to the PS4 version. Okay, what's this chest got an upgrade module nothing more? Ow. Okay, that'd be pretty bad if I di died in here. Lose my great big honking mech. For no other reason than because gravity. Okay, uh, you know what? Let's heal up over here. Doesn't look like we've got too many other goodies in here. A little bit of coal. Still gotta figure out exactly what coal is useful for. You know, I'm curious if I could paint my mech. That'd be really nice, actually. It's super unlikely. But it'd be kind of a nice addition, especially once, uh, Sleep and Gull have their own mechs, too. I think we're getting close to the surface. There's a lot of sand here. At least it doesn't crush you in the same way that, uh... Interesting, it actually almost is completely bypassing me. Well, that's... that's useful. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing a whole lot around here. Okay. I mean, we got these boxes, but I think I'm kind of past the point of caring too much. I just want to get out of here. I remember when you used to be able to, um... Eh. I remember when you used to be able to, uh... Actually teleport out from any... Uh, oof, this is laggy. Uh, teleport out from any, uh any point in the planet. Like, you just went all the way down, you could just teleport out. No problem. All you'd have to do is cut a hole in the wall. Didn't really make a whole lot of sense to me, but it was cool. Yeah, the, um, I think it's actually the laser that's screwing everything up. Like, uh, there's, there's something about the laser's visual effect that is mad laggy. Well, that's okay. We are almost done. In fact, we're- oh, hi! That was scary. Okay, you come back. And let's leave. Because this planet is a mess. There's probably also a ton of falling blocks uh, back there. None of which we want to deal with. Okay, uh, furnace. Durasteel bar. 121. Oh, I don't think we need to worry about much for a while. Let's see. Iron. Not much iron on that planet, but that's okay. And not a whole lot of titanium either. Okay, so what do we need to do to upgrade you? Glass and volatile powder. Well, glass would be here. And so is volatile powder. powder. Actually, we want like... I could have just hit smelts a bunch of times. Okay, there we go. So we can upgrade our furnace into an atomic furnace. 
So now we can make solarium. Refined violium, ferrosium, ferrosium, and age of salt. Uh, triple A battery, uh, double A battery, battery, copper wire, sil silicon boards, useful. And I'm starving. Well, I guess I can just eat mushrooms. Can't eat mushrooms. Good to know. You're not cooking. You're cooking. Okay, so what can we make with what I've got? I can make cheese. Let's just go down to Crop Town. I'll... I'll finish upgrading shortly. This is the one problem with having a giant cash crop farm situation. Very easy to um, run out of food in a way. Okay, that should be good. Yeah, I thought I had more boiled rice than I did. Uh, let's see, can I make a bunch of carrot bread? I can. Perfect. There we go. Okay, there was something in my inventory that I needed to preserve. Ah, the chili. Well, let's just make a chili seed. Because, yeah, I don't have chili seeds yet. Okay. And then it looks like while I was out and about, uh, Crop Town has propagated all of its crops. Should probably only go so far as my inventory allows. I don't want it to fill up again. I'm kind of sick of that happening. This is why I need to keep all my crops uh, next to each other. Because even a couple of seconds is enough to make them not stack properly. Which is really dumb. Like, super dumb. Like, this mango and these mangoes have, like, s literal seconds of difference. But it's enough. Oh, I can make a meat dumpling. Sure, why not? I guess I could have also made meat stew. Probably should have done meat stew. Yeah, I should have. Pearl pea pancakes. Oh, that's cool. Also, apparently the nearby fridge is actually pulling from... Yeah, oh, no, 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 never mind. I really wish it was. Uh, I was really hoping it would pull from the nearby treasure chest. That would make my life a lot easier. And no. Oh, that's okay. 27 carrot juice. Well, I don't think I'm gonna starve for a while. Let's just make and sell all of this. I think all of my, um... My critters are done producing, too. Okay. So juice, pancakes, dumplings, that. I'll drink carrot juice, because carrot juice is pretty low value. Chocolate, mango juice, and wattage pottage. Okay, cool. So where's the, uh... Where are the available crops? Yeah, the one problem with pus plums is they actually grow really slowly from what I can tell. Like, I, I'm, I'm gonna say this right now, it really does feel like cocoa is probably my best option. Just because, uh, cocoa, cocoa doesn't rot, like cocoa and sugar. Uh, so what I can do is just go to town on Cocoa Pods and never have to think about anything else. Anyway, let's plant this chili. Uh, do we have any other seeds? We have a banana seed. And a pineapple seed. Don't see anything else. Nothing that I can plant uh, above, uh, above water. And I'll go, go and grab those. Actually, let's grab the silk while we're here, too. Uh, let's see. How's my inventory? Inventory is pretty good. We might actually be able to fit all of the, uh, the reef pods, too. Yep. Okay, looks like all of my, um, critters are harvestable. Oh, yeah, they do change color. Interesting. Actually, I'd have some amount of temptation to, uh, to... Dig up all of my coral creep and just switch it over to reef pods. Though, realistically, that's a very small difference in money. It's probably not worth worrying about so much. Okay, so what can we make? Automato stew. Let's see. 
Uh, ape grapes. Ooh, grapes and a banana. That's worth a fair amount. And then also battered banana. Let's go ape grapes first. Let's see what else I can make. Bunch of reef juice, so I'm just gonna do that. Let's see, nothing there. Always, always chocolate. So much chocolate. Battered bananas. And then I think we're good. I couldn't make the mushroom bread. We should probably make the mushroom bread, get that out of there. Okay, no more foodstuffs to make. So, we are rich. As always, really. I'll just sell the remaining automatoes. They're not worth holding on to. I'll probably keep the toxic tops. Surprised it ran out of sugar, but I guess it did. That's fine. Okay, so I guess with this, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Starbound. And as always, thanks for watching.